Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here with just a very short video, or at least I intend for it to be a short video, because there has been a new glitch discovered in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and I'd like to tell you all about it because it is something just so glorious, you have to see it to believe it. However, we can't take any of the credit for discovering this ourselves. It appears that the first person to discover this was a chap called the Afro Joe, or the Afro Jow, I'm, I'm not entirely sure um, which way it's supposed to be pronounced, but uh, he was the first person to find it as far as we can tell, so check him out. There'll be a link in the description to his channel, because he was the discoverer. -er. So, if you haven't read the title, well, what's all this about? Well, as you can see, it requires two Isabels and... Um, well, an assist trophy here, which I've just spawned now. In fact, that's a little bit close. I've already done a couple of attempts on this, so hopefully we'll um, we'll be able to see it actually working first time. This is the second time I've recorded this video because it was a total wash before. So what you need to do is use both of the um, of Isabel's side Bs at the same time, obviously, towards the assist trophy, ideally before it despawns. Okay, so now this is a bit finicky because I've got both controllers here. I'm attempting to do this at the same time. Um, so there we go. I got it. And there we go. I'm the one to pick it up and watch those Waluigi's go. I'm now no longer pressing any buttons at all. Like my hands aren't even on the controller. This is just this is just doing its own thing and it just runs as far as I can tell indefinitely. And the switch also wow, that's that's some serious damage we got going on in there. I'm so proud of all my boys. And as far as I know, this is just... I mean, look at that... Co oh my god, look at the combo. I didn't notice that before. Look at the combo. This is going to ruin my stats because the combo is going to be off the charts. So if you want um, a maximum combo, you can do this, I suppose. I, I didn't think there would be any practical application for this. But, well, look, okay, no, it's, it's going over a thousand now. Um, okay. And that total damage, that's pretty beefy, isn't it? You know, I think I'm going to leave this for just like, uh, you know, like 90 seconds or something like that and just see what happens because this doesn't look like it's going to end anytime soon. And that's kind of a beautiful thing. Can I move? I don't think I can move. No, no, I can't move. I can't do anything. Those Waluigi's are just going to keep spawning seemingly forever. And the switch, seem the switch seems to be holding up well. It's very difficult to tell with all the shaking, but it looks like it's still 60 frames a second. I'll have to look back at the footage to double check because, um, you know, unsurprisingly, my eyes can't actually detect whether something's running at 59 or 60 frames a second. But it looks pretty damn solid considering all that's happening on the screen. Look at that combo. As far as I can tell, the other Isabel just can't escape, even with 999% damage. I think if I pause... Um, she'll break out. But you know what? I, 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 I quite like seeing that combo go up. And, you know, 47,000 damage. Not to be sniffed at. You know, I've just realised I'm recording this without the sound on. Um, so I can't hear what's happening in game. I'm going to have to listen to it now for a moment. So you'll probably hear double. Lovely. Okay, I think that's enough. I'm going to hit the pause button and let uh, Isabel finally, finally die. I think that should that should work. Yep, Isabel's now respawned, so I imagine. Yep, if I hit the spawner. Oh no, she's still going. When I hit the spawner before, they stopped. Let me pause that again. There we go, gone off the edge. Now let's do a proper hit. Oh, I killed a couple of Waluigi's as well, and obviously uh, my now standard player character is off the edge, and I'm assuming no longer going to support <laughs> Waluigi's. <laughs> the dream is over. So that's the fun you can have with Waluigi's, but, you know, Waluigi isn't the only assist character out there. Assist trophy, even, I should say. So um, what else have we got that we could possibly spawn? I'm going to have a little rummage through and let you know. You know. <laughs> and she'll womp. And it's me again, lucky old me, and here we go. It's Isabel and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles and Knuckles. <laughs> and it's never going to end. <laughs> oh dear, only got a combo of two that time though, so um, it'll be interesting to see what happens now. Good lord, that is a lot of Knuckles as is, is. Look at them go, and they've got the homing attack as well. Why does Knuckles have the homing attack? Does he have that in the games? I I'm pretty sure he doesn't. He glides instead, doesn't he? The combo's not going to be quite as high as it clearly would be with Waluigi, but you know what? When you can make a reference to and knuckles and knuckles and knuckles, that's all That's all that matters, isn't it? That's all that matters in life. This many knuckles is, is, is. And I think if I pause, no, no, it still doesn't, still doesn't stop. We can't actually spawn any more assist trophies because we've reached the, <laughs> we've reached the maximum. 
<laughs> I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna need to try and uh, break my break my actual character out of it. <laughs> this is gonna be a short video, but I'm having too much fun. Okay, I think I've stemmed the tide of knuckles for the time being at the very least. So let's see what other uh, assist trophies we've got on offer as the CPU flies off the edge yet again. What fun. So we've got Springman, we've got, we've got all sorts. We could get Ashley, we could get Burrowing Snagner. <laughs> yeah, Burrowing Snagner. Oh, we could do the moon. It, would you be able to spawn more than one moon at any one time? Let's find out. Also, what would happen if you spawned multiple of the Squid Sisters over and over again? I'm wondering actually whether there are any that won't allow you to spawn. Yeah, the moon won't actually allow you to spawn any more than one. But can we cheat that system by using this glitch? I sincerely hope so. And a boosh! Oh dear, this time it's the CPU and we're spawning more than one moon, but there's only one appearing in the background. So it looks like there is some sort of control about uh, uh, over that. Although, I've got to- hang on, is that just- No! Oh my god, it is more than one moon! You can see a trail behind! Oh my god! <laughs> oh dear, this is, um... This is causing the Switch to get a little bit confused, and I'm, I'm not entirely surprised. Interestingly, we don't get any combo with this one. I don't know why, but for some reason, Waluigi gave us a massive combo. Oh, it's because it's attacking me and not the CPU. That probably explains it. Okay, I think maybe that's enough of that for the time being. Let's try and get the CPU off the edge. And there they go. Bye-bye. Am I actually- I'm actually out of the blast radius here. That's- no, I'm not. So that was the moon. Now let's get his compadre again. Once again, we can only spawn one of these normally. So this gets around that. So that's really interesting. I'm guessing maybe because, you know, things like the moon. You don't really want more than one spawning at any one time, so that makes perfect sense. But obviously, we now don't have to play by those rules, do we? And a sh <laughs> That wasn't intentional. Don't embarrass yourself. There we go, and it's me again. I think maybe it's just, you know, my pref- Oh god, look, god- Whoa, no! <laughs> of course, it's not doing any damage, but... This is, um... Well, this is... I, I, I have no idea what's going on. This is, um, well, this is definitely a thing. And Isabel seems to be popping in and out, it seems. Yeah, you can just about see the CPU popping in and out. And uh, am I pop? Yeah, I'm popping in and out as well. Bizarre. I don't know why that's happening, but it's certainly happening. This is, this is, this is Ben Drowned, isn't it? This is Ben Drowned in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It does look like it's, it's killing my Switch. And, I mean, it's, 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 not, but I'm I'm still uncomfortable with this, so I'm gonna go and kill myself. In the game, don't worry. There we go. Bye bye. Well done. So hang on a minute. When we spawn that, what else gets blocked out? So we can't have more than one nightmare. That's just gonna make it dark indefinitely. We can't have more than one thwomp, more than one andro oh, more than one andros. <laughs> more than one Dr. Kawashima, that's gonna be carnage. I wonder whether they'll interact with each other. Because obviously it's not designed to. So, you know, let's find out. What happened there? That's more like it at long last. Here we go, Dr. Kawashima. And there's more than one Kawashima being spawned repeatedly. Hang on, I can't remember. If I pause, does it... They, they, You know what? There's nowhere near as many numbers going around as I would have thought. It just seems to be the same amount. That's really disappointing. Although we do get to see four lips Kawashima. So that's a thing. Okay, I think I'm gonna try one more. Just, just, uh, shovel mic could be... <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's gotta be Rathalos, hasn't it? I'm guessing once again, you can only spawn one Rathalos at a time. Yep, that makes sense considering it's a boss character as well. Lordy Lou, let's have some fun. And the CPU got it this time, and one, two, three, f <laughs> Oh, this is, um, this is what makes my job all the more worthwhile. This is, um, this is causing the switch to drop a few frames here and there. Am I surprised? No. Let me just um, allow you to bask in the glory of this thing with some appropriately gentle and relaxing music.
There's a part of me that says, that wants to say I've had enough of this, but I don't even know where the CPU is anymore. I suppose I could pause it. That's Is that going to stop it? Good lord, that slowed down the game tremendously. Again, can't say I'm surprised, but I am entertained at the very least. Let's see if I can... Where is the CPU? Are they at the edge? I think they're at the edge on the far left-hand side. So let's uh, drop myself off the edge. Am I dead? I think I'm dead. There I go. Okay, down. I can't. I can't get to them. I can't get to them. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose if I uh, if I do LRNA, that uh, that uh, brings things back to a state of normality. Bad Isabel. Don't spawn so many Rathalos. And there we have it. I'm sure there's loads more fun stuff you can do with this. Uh, I'm not going to show it all in this. So I, I want to give you something interesting. In fact, you know what would be interesting actually. Auto pick a random assist trophy. That's obviously how they work in the game. You know, I am going to test this. I am going to test to see what happens when a random assist trophy is spawned instead, whether or not they, you know, whether there'll be a conflict, or whether it'll be the same one over and over again, or whether we'll get different ones each time. It's fun. Once again, it's down to me and... No, it just spawns the same one over and over again. That's probably sensible. I'm guessing it means that the system selects what assist trophy it's going to be before you actually pick it up, which makes sense. And we, we do get to see Vincent doing this over and over again. And that's a lot of easels. That 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 is a lot of easels. Not actually impeding on the gameplay, though, because uh, he doesn't even get in the way. So I can just uh, quite happily knock myself off the edge there and uh, knock the desk and then force myself down and admire the cats and seashells and tomatoes that appear before me. That's a big kingfisher. And there you have it. That is the Isabel Infinite Assist Trophy glitch, I suppose. Originally discovered by the Afro Jow or the Afro Joe. I don't know which way it goes. But uh, yeah, so that is a thing. And it's tremendously entertaining. If you did want to get an ultimate combo, you can do so just by spawning a load of Waluigi's and preventing the opponent from being able to get away, as we saw earlier in the clip. That is probably the only practical application I can see, apart from just having fun, which one could argue the entire game is supposed to be anyway. But anyway, thank Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you stretch out that subscribe button so it covers far more time than you ever thought it would. And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.